drama channel, Ojama Garrett here, talk about all the hottest drama happening on the YouTube. And uh, I kind of wanted to talk about this guy uh, named Master Ugwe. I haven't heard of him before. He popped up in my shorts with this song um, that was pretty catchy. And it was about like, uh, not as controversial song, but it was something with um, his most famous meme song or whatever. Uh, I'll post a picture of it or whatever. So this guy, he's like Hungarian or something like that. And he says, uh, he makes a video saying the N-word and he justifies it by saying like, who who is uh, who's allowed to say the N-word? Because um, he's seen like Mexicans say it and other people of different nationalities say it, not just black people. And their response to this guy is that uh, it's people who have a history of slavery or something along the lines of that. And then he uh, memes around a little bit, or maybe this is true or not, but he says that his great, 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 great grandparents, some distant relative is um, descended of slaves. So then that means he has a history of uh, oppression in his family, therefore allowing him to say it. I, I guess, I mean, like he's Hungarian or some other nationality, so he's not like Irish white or whatever, you know, the, the main bad guy white people, the Anglo-Saxon or whatever it is. So like, sorry, I'm working on another video. Um, that's why I'm not looking at the camera too much. But uh, so he says the Ed word in the video and he's like really happy to be able to finally say it. Like uh, he's finally, he's been wanting to forever and whatever. That's fine and all. But then I guess that gets him into some hot water. Uh, this guy is like super big in the shorts community. He's got like 8.6 million subscribers on the YouTube. And he says the N word and then whatever. And then from what I've seen now coming out, there's just a bunch of like sat or angry people at him saying like, he's racist, blah, blah, blah. He made a song. And I guess it's not necessarily even about the N word. That was just like what started it for people. It's just, uh, maybe I'm missing some details, but he released a song called like Adolf Hitler is by N word. And that is what really that he didn't say Edward. He said like the word in a song or whatever. And I guess he wraps it in the song or whatever because now he's got this new profound or newfound heritage allowing him to get the Edward pass. Um so he's trying to monetize it through outrage or whatever. And it is what it is. Like I don't care. Um at the end of the day, like if people wanted to not be fans with him, that's up to them. I don't really give a shit. He wasn't I mean he's got a few funny uh shorts, but I'm not really a shorts guy. I'm not really a shorts comedy guy either. So I don't really care about that. So why am I talking about it? I just wanted to give my opinion on it because I'm a drama channel now. And um, the, the main opinion I want to give on it is that uh, Master Ugwe is doing everybody a public service, uh, comedians especially. Uh, if you are unsure where the line is, um, you don't have to be sure anymore. Uh, for, for like edgy comedy, because it is coming back, there's a lot of... Uh, just, just the edginess is okay. Like nobody is happy with PC police and everything now. Like... Um, it's no, no, nobody's happy with that stuff anymore. They want like the old school, like uh, Dave Chappelle uh, humor, um, the Chappelle show type humor where he's just like, you know, what, what that's on TV, like type humor, like crazy, like blow you away, shock, and jo shock, jock humor and stuff like that. Like that has, uh, that's starting to come back. I'm seeing it come out, come back a lot more. Like it's becoming a lot more, um, okay. In the, uh, public sphere, like there's a, there's a culture for it. Like the culture is, um, the market is demanding edgy jokes anymore. So, okay. That aside, what I'm saying is, is that Master Ugwe is doing every comedian a public service. Cause now if you're a comedian, you want to make edgy jokes and you're wondering where the line is and stuff like that. All you have to do is look at this man's career, take one step back from what he's done and you're good to go. You have a comedy career. You're edgy enough that you're, you're not a normie. So then the, uh, the edgy people will love you. And then you can monetize that with uh, whatever, you know, your YouTube career, your shorts and stuff like that. Just like go study this guy's channel study everything he said, all the jokes he's ever made, go find where the line is, where people are like really like ready to just be done with him at like his buddy, his best friend or whatever. He released a video uh, now disavowing him or whatever. Uh, and there you go. Now you know where the line is in today's public space. And then go ahead and just go watch. Now you don't have to worry about the anxiety of making, is this joke too edgy? Is this too edgy? Is that too edgy? Now you know where the line is and you can like carve out a niche for yourself. So that's a quick one for you guys. Uh, so you're welcome. Go start your uh, little shitty um, YouTube shorts, comedy, shock jock, whatever you guys do. Sorry, I don't care if it's shitty or not. I just don't prefer it personally. But go start your career. Go have fun. Master Ugwe, he committed social suicide for you. He is the uh, comedy Jesus. 
He is dying on the com- com- comedy gold for your guys' sins. So now you all can start your comedy careers. You can be edgy, cool guys too on the internet.com. So I just wanted to make that for my little commentary here today. And I'm going to be hitting you with more drama coming up soon. So please uh, do whatever you want. Like, don't like, comment, don't comment, subscribe, don't subscribe. And I'll just uh, catch you later.